welcome to the Regiment Museum of the Royal Welsh. Now today, Sunday the 21st, is a very special day in the museum's life. We are celebrating the 140th anniversary of the Zulu War, Rockstrift and Islandwana. I know it was in January, but today, as I said, is a special day and the reason being that General Swift is going to meet the King of the Zulus at the gate and fetch him into the museum for a guided tour to go around and see what artefacts are from the Zulu War and to introduce him to some of the history of the Zulu War that we've got here. When he comes and he looks round, he will leave the museum and he'll go onto the square. Now on the square, he's got his contingent of, I think it's about 50 Zulus, which are part of his personal bodyguard. And they will be doing the dance on the square. They will be doing a reenactment of the battle at Islandwana. And the diehards will be the Victorian troops. It's very, very hot out there. We've had to clear the museum, and that's why it's nice and quiet, ready for the King's arrival. With anybody of that higher rank, security must be checked, and we've got to do that to make sure it's safe for him and everybody else. When the King arrives, the first place he'll be going to will be the original Victoria Crosses. He will be taught how the Victoria Crosses were awarded, why they were awarded, and what Victoria Crosses we got on show, which just happened to be the ones from the Zulu campaign. From here, we'll go into the Zulu room, and in the Zulu room, we'll turn around as, as, as someone just going to check that uh, if the king is coming, because I'll have to start talk, stop talking if he does. Um, we'll go into the Zulu room and he'll go around and have a look at that and we'll show him some interesting things in there. And if there is anything that stands out, I will tell you because at the end of the visit, I will come back and tell you what has happened on the, the tour and what has happened outside. Now, I don't want to keep you too long and I can't stay too long because if the king arrives, we have to go. So I'll now finish, but I will be back at the end of the visit and talk about anything that has happened that could be of some information to you. Thank you for looking at the segments and I hope you're enjoying them. If you do, pass them on to someone else. Let someone else have a look at them as well. Thank you very much. I'll have to go now because the King will be here quite soon. Thank you. Yes. 
You'll yeah, be testing sorry. me next on my, my, my sort of no, my weapon drills. <laughs> no, no, seriously, thank you very much for, for coming along because having guys like you sort of really bring this to life and, and also you. helps us remember what it was all unveiling the cabinet for the very first time oh. um, to mark this special occasion. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. And, and, and I think all you need to do, sir, when you're ready, is to, to remove it. But we must capture this momentous event oh, yeah, on the film, yeah, obviously. Yeah, so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much needed. Thank you. Thank you. When you're ready, sir. Yes, I'm ready. And Arvon would, would just like to explain to you the, the, the cabinet itself. We, we got the original Victoria crosses, and from the top end, it's Melville and Coggill. Yeah. And then we got Bromed uh, coming down to Hook. Now, the history of the Victoria Cross, it was instituted in 1856, but dated to 1854 for the Crimea. Yes. And it can only be awarded for action in the face of the enemy. And up until 1922, it could not be given or awarded to anybody posthumously. And Melville and Coggill, that died at the Buffalo River, they were the very first recipients of the Victoria Cross. The Buffalo River was in the town. Yes. yes. So, that them Victoria Cross are, are really um, interesting because they're the very first and it was awarded for Zuland. Oh, thank you. Thank you very and much. What you're looking at here now is about three and a half million pounds. And there's been 1,363 Victoria Crosses issued through from the 1856 to the present day. And uh, there's not many left to be issued. It is. Thank you very much. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do me the honor of signing my book. I've got the colors. <laughs> And we've got a, a plaque in the corner to commemorate the visit and the opening of the uh, the VCs for the general public. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's such an honour. And it'll be an honour for me to present you with a copy of the 24th Colours. And this is an exact replica that was used in the Zulu campaign. Thank you very much. You. Okay. For God's sake and peace. Yes. And I, thank you very much. And thank, you for <laughs> thank you for visiting the museum. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank, you. thank 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 you.
you're going to get an headache from all these flashes in here. And, and over in the corner is the Union flag uh, that flew above Rockstrift right the way through the battle. So this is at least 140 years old. I put it in this pack mm. and if you look at it, yeah. you've got the patches, the mirror yeah. image top yeah. and bottom, because yeah. it was folded up, well, put into a pack yeah. and wet. And, yeah, it, wet. Yeah. and then when it was taken out, the material fell apart, but it's now been preserved. So we'll have that forever and a day. So is it the one similar to the one that is in Calcutta? No. The one in the cathedral are, are the regimental colours. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that there yeah. is the Union flag. Union flag yes, yes. And that's, that's where they say the, the sun never sets on the Union flag because there were so many of them. Well, I, I hope so because I, I've talked to uh, <laughs> y your media and we're filming it and we're going to send it over to them. So. You got another part of the uh, film to go with the the visit. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. We're on the Papalo River or either in San Luane in other parts where? I think mainly at Islandowana. And Rockstrift. Yes, and yeah. Rockstrift. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 What what did you use them for? So you could use you could use them on a shield yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And then, they, and then in, the, in the olden days, the, the women used to, you know, with their headgears. Yeah. They used to make make themselves smart. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's the same over here now. They try to make themselves smart. Yes. The, these are these are Bibles, and they were Bibles that was neither found on the battlefield or found on some of the bodies of our soldiers, and they were brought back. Uh, there's the the one that um, Henry Oak picked up, and he brought it back. Um, he was a bit of a character, but uh, it, yes, yeah. That there is what we call a bayonet boss. It's, it's where the bayonet goes into a scabbard. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. That yes. part there hmm. goes into the the frog that holds the bayonet, okay. and then it's attached okay, to your so belt. Okay, so you can not to, 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 yeah. to, to, to cause any problems with your own hmm. That's crazy, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's King Yes, and uh, that's one of the prince's sons. Prince yes, Prince Daniel. That's my great grandfather. That's my great great grandfather, King Kedai. He was sixteen. Maybe he was fourteen by then, oh. or maybe yeah. eleven, you maybe twelve. The original Yeah. But, uh, I don't think that we have such a copy You haven't got that one either? Yeah, we need to I'll sort when it for you. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes, we, we, can, we can get a copy of it and we'll, we'll send it over and make sure you get it. Yeah, this is uh, at Islandwana. Yeah. This was a cave and the soldier in the back was the last one to be killed. Because okay. he went into the cave and he kept firing out and then the Zulus went down to the battlefield, picked up the weapons and came up and started firing into the cave. Okay. Uh, but we don't know his name because of the, um, the ceremony of honouring the dead. I've got some of the 
the zoo, the zoo set up here. And this is some of the stuff that we had. This is the, the one you were asking about up there, Your Majesty. That's, there, there it is there. And, and on the belt, do you remember you were asking about that yes. piece? Oh, that, yes. oh, that's yes. it there. Oh, it pulls the sword. Yes, it pulls it in, oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, with the, the Victoria Cross on it. It was one that was made as a, a commemoration of the battle. Who made all this for you? Is it made here in London? It, it's made in, in Staffordshire, where the, the potteries are. Uh, and there's an artist up there that makes them. And they, they're pretty good. But Behind us is this rock street. That's correct. Yes. yes. Uh, one of the, the gentlemen that's uh, doing a part of the pageant outside, mm. uh, Bill Canaan, yeah. uh, he made this. And then they pull back and then they come in from that side yeah. and they, then they come in from this side. So they were, um, as you fight as the owns of the buffalo, they couldn't do it and it built up defensive position. But King Petraio have won them not to go there. He did, because his the one that went there was his half brother <laughs> and excuse me for I might get his name wrong. Dunamangzing. Direct your attention to that portrait of them, Sir Edward Dennis. And without him, none of this would be there because he is actually the man who founded the 24th Regiment. Yeah. But back in 1689. And um, as you can see, the, the regiment was. Uh, that, that's when the portrait was, was painted. The regiment was actually founded in the Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yes. uh, England. Yeah. The new one year, right? Yes, yes. So people do find that surprising that over time there's been that connection. Uh, and that's a transfer of people from the South East Kingdom to Europe in mid Wales, which is a heck of a long way. It is. It is. So the, the regiment, it shows, I think, that the regiment doesn't just have Welsh camp. And the link is hey, without the past, there's no present. No. And no future. No, for so sure. you've got to keep the past mm. going to get a future. That's yes. true. That's true. that's why you know I believe that we need to remind our children, not that we remind for the rest of the the, the, the globe, you know, who are yeah. very much worried. Yes. How yeah. things are going to be. But if our history can unite us like this, there is something that God has made us to achieve. I'm telling you. Yes. Yeah. It's really important. We can do a lot, you know. Mm. Mm. The people that have been looked by the whole world being an enemy to each other mm. because of 1879. Mm. Yeah. If they see the two mm. today mm. being what they think and what they are doing, I'm yes. telling you, we can change the whole globe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys for and sure. I, yeah. And for I, th sure. Yeah. I think it started. For the peace sake. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For and I think the, the friendship started because they honoured the bravery of both sides. Actually, it shows the bravery and the braveryness that 
at the end, you mm -hmm. have to have peace. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I think we are here, we are gathered here today to, to cement. It's God that has made this plan that mm -hmm. today he finishes his work mm -hmm. for the rest of the country, for the rest of the whole world. Yeah. Let's Actually. do it. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. We've, been, we've been permitted. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like that. So, yeah, I like it. You should have popped in 10 minutes earlier. We could have had a cup of tea and a talk on a fish shell. Uh, yes. We can still put the kettle on yeah, if you like, Your Majesty. We can still put the kettle on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. In January, the 26th. Yeah. Let me not disturb the government systems. Uh, no. <laughs> no. That's, that's what I should rid of. Yeah. Thank you, you very much. <laughs> you see the legend on it. The oh, yes. legend on it, sir. <laughs> that, that, the, the legend on it, sir. And that will, will hang now in the room oh, yes. as a reminder, of course, of that there is now peace and harmony, Actually, uh, uh, um, cooperation, uh, 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 and we, we are working towards that, it, of course. That tells the story of today. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, it does actually. Yeah, it tells it the story. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to meet you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But, but we need your help to start something of this thing. Okay. Okay. Really. Yeah. 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 Thank you. To make a lot of copies. Yeah. That it's an honor to meet you. I'm so grateful. And I hope you stay healthy. And God bless and I, you. And I hope you stay well. Thank you very much. God be with you. And I will get the photo sent to you. Please, please. I will. Please. Okay, please. thank you. Lovely to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come over now. Thank you. The only thing is that we have a couple of stalls. Oh, you better stand up. Malemnyama, 
Welcome back. It's been quite an exhausting visit. Uh, the King visited. Um, I look at the Victoria Crosses and then we went into the Zulu room. Um, an interesting incident happened in the Zulu room. We went up and there is two pictures there of a young Zulu and one a bit older. And when we got to him, the King mentioned that the one on the left, when you come to the museum and I'll have a look at it, the one on the left was his great-grandfather and the other one was his great-great-grandfather and his great-great-grandfather just happened to be Kichueo, which was the king of the Zulus that was in charge of the attacks on Rourke's Rift and Isla Duana. Well, he wasn't in charge of the one at Rourke's Rift because he told his half brother Donald Ming Zing not to cross the Buffalo River but he did but he was the king at that time um, the king didn't have no copies of these photographs and that was the first time he'd seen them in his life and the other photograph was when Kichueo was brought over as a prisoner got dressed in civilian clothes or modern day clothes and was taken to see Queen Victoria. He hadn't seen that photograph or he hadn't got a copy. So the museum is going to get copies of both these photos and they're going to send them over to the King. Um, the other thing is this video, when it's finished, will be sent to the king. Uh, the outside, when I mentioned in the, the opening part about the dyads, now the dyads are the Victorian reenactment group from over the border in England. The ones in the museum are called the 1879 group which is their equivalent, which is the Welsh uh, reenactment group. 
Now, if there's any youngsters out there, or roasters, or whatever you want to call yourself, would like to join the 1879 group, you can get in contact with the Regimental Museum of Brecon on a Saturday, and I will give you contact details and get you in touch. Um, I think you might enjoy it because they go around, they do a lot of reenactment, and they know their stuff. And like you see in the museum, they had pride of place in there watching the Victoria Crosses and as a guard of honour for the king. Outside, I was going to say the, the rain held off, but it was so hot, I reckon you could boil an egg on Dad Morgan's head. Just mentioned Dad Morgan because he was a character within the regiment and he saved a platoon of men in Borneo because they were in an area that they shouldn't have been. And when the pilot came in and he was going to strafe that area, Dad Morgan took his hat off and the pilot recognised a baldy, white-headed man. And he called off the attack. Um, I don't know if that story's true, but that's what I was told when we amalgamated. And Dad Morgan was my boss in recce platoon. Now, the museum is here. We've done a, a look round. And I invite you to come and have a look, ask questions. Um, and if you can't get here because of distance, you can always put a comment in or you can send an email and just send it to the museum with Will 7-1 on it and it'll pass it on to me. Now, I'm knackered, I'm tired, I'm sweaty, I've had no sweets, so I've got to go. But I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I had. Oh, and by the way, the copy of the standard that was covering the Victoria Crosses, uh, I give to King Goodwill uh, to take back to KwaZulu-Land uh, as a memento for being in the museum. I'm now going because the general and all that are outside. Uh, but if you do come, fetch me some sweets. I have not none for so long. I don't know how they taste. I, I'm getting, I can't spell them. But look after yourself. And we'll see you on the next, which is the diorama part two. I'm not going to tell you nothing about that, so you can watch it and we'll see what happens. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. But I smell like the touch of a camel. So I'm going to have a, a shower, get out of this kit and relax. Sleep tight. No star. Good night. <laughs>